You're listening to Teach Me the Bible podcast, where we unpack the meaning of books, passages, and themes from Scripture. Join us each week as Dr. David Klingler walks us through God's Word and teaches the Bible. Each episode has a study guide available in the show notes. This is Teach Me the Bible podcast. Hello, everyone. My name's Tim Webb, and I'm here with Dr. David Klingler with our Teach Me the Bible podcast. And David, we just want people, uh, we want to help them, the people of God, to understand the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And so that's our heart's desire for this podcast. And just want to remind everyone they can download our app from any app store. As well, you can uh, download from our Apple TV or Roku app. But with every episode, we have a study guide for continued growth and other resources like articles, uh, blog posts. They can also ask you questions that aren't covered in our in our mm-hmm. podcast on a daily basis. So I just want to remind them of that. But David, we are continuing our conversation here with uh, Paul addressing Timothy, his beloved son in the faith. We've walked through, you know, obviously Timothy's been discouraged or maybe thinking about just quitting. And Paul is very pointed with Timothy on this, correct? Yeah, he's, he's you know, it's a, he's he's pulling out all the stops. He's, yeah. he's throwing haymakers. It's yeah. anything that he can think of to, you know, um, oh, Tim- this is the end of first Timothy. Oh, Timothy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can just hear the, path. oh, Timothy, yeah. guard that which has been, been entrusted to you. You yeah. know, um, just hang. Well, Timothy's he's faltered, and and so now this is reengage the reengage, mm-hmm. um, um, you know, charge, and 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 so in chapter four it begins. I solemnly charge you in the presence of of God and of Christ Jesus, who is the Judge of the living and the dead, and by His appearance and His kingdom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, um, that's there's all kinds of power there, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, A lot I, of conversations. The, the there Judge too. of the living and the dead. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's so many thoughts that flood in here. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and by the appearance, uh, by his appearance and his kingdom. In other words, um, the, he's already exhorted Timothy that, that here's the rules of the game. This was back mm-hmm. in chapter two. Uh, suffer now, future reward. Persecution now, mm-hmm. future reward. Um, plant the crop, Wait. Mm-hmm. Then you get to reap the benefit. Uh, train, endure, run the race according to the rules. Then you receive mm-hmm. the reward. You know, no mm-hmm. soldier in active duty. Right. Uh, and so, the rules of the game. And and, and here's the problem. Uh, and I think it's a it's a good desire. Mm-hmm. We don't like the rules of this game. We want to change the rules of the game so that mm-hmm. we can fix it now. Well, there's no fixing it now, right? Mm-hmm. The, the the so Timothy. You know, lick your wounds, suck it up, mm-hmm. get back to it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because the only hope that people have is in his kingdom and his appearing. Mm-hmm. So preach the word, be ready in season and out, reprove, rebuke, re, uh, exhort with great patience. Now, reprove, rebuke, exhort. How? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, through through the word. For all mm-hmm. scriptures inspired uh, by God, and it's right. profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction. For uh, and so the way that if you don't know the word, how are you going to be ready in season and out? How are you going mm-hmm. to reprove, rebuke, mm-hmm. exhort uh, with great patience and instruction? Mm-hmm. Knowing the word is going to give you great patience and instruction mm-hmm. because the time's coming. And you know, of course, back then it was true, and it's just as true today. It's already here. Um, the people will not endure sound doctrine. And and one thing I always point out in this passage is no one's out there saying, um, do you remember that verse about the ear ticklers? That's me. Yeah, I'm right, the ear tickler, right? right. Yeah. Everybody claims to be the sound doctrine person and not the ear t- tickler person telling people what yeah. they what they want to hear. But um, I, yeah, I think, too, I mean, you've mentioned this, but the training in righteousness. You know, as a former athlete, Training, discipline, mm-hmm. and it ought to be the same with the scriptures as well. Yeah, for the believer, and I think we 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 miss that. It's almost like we just want it to to fall on us or have a, a, an encounter. And this is this takes time, diligence. It, it, it takes time. But here's yeah. here's the the thing that really frustrates me. Um, it, when when we who are in ministry who are um, entrusted with teaching the word. Mm-hmm. 
make the word inaccessible and hard for our people to understand, mm -hmm. or, or we set it up where you can only, you can't truly know what the scriptures mean. You have to come through me, and I'm the gatekeeper. That type of mm -hmm. thing. Um, you, we we teach our philosophy, our theology, whatever we want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. We make the passage about that, um, and we don't make the scriptures understandable. The, the scriptures are the authority, n not me. Right, right. N right the, yeah. uh, and, and so so Paul's word is authoritative because he's an apostle. Mm -hmm. Timothy's not an apostle. Timothy is to, to, um, uh, to, to listen to, to Paul's words. Paul's the, the, the things which, which he's heard, that Timothy's heard in the presence of Paul's teaching, these things you, you teach mm -hmm. to to yeah, verse men are able the, to of the chapter. To, you know, you to, follow to my up. teaching, yeah. uh, and yeah. so so this this so so mm -hmm. Timothy is to follow Paul's instruction, and Paul's instruction and Paul's rules of the game, so to speak, they're not fun. Mm -hmm. And so I get it. We want to change. We want to change it. You know, mm -hmm. how can we fix it now? Well, there's no fixing it now. The only fix is uh, the one who is the judge of the living and the dead. Uh, and it will be fixed at his appearing in his kingdom. Now, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that we don't live it out, uh, live out th his instruction now, mm -hmm. um, because the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, and that mm -hmm. that sound doctrine, and we'll, we'll we'll talk about this, but they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance with their own desires, uh, with their own. Uh, and this is uh, this is all the way through the New Testament. It's all the way through the Old Testament. This is Satan's enticement. Satan mm -hmm. is always enticing with best life now, stuff mm -hmm. now, relief from the curse now, mm -hmm. um, fix it now. And, and, and that's not only a, an enticement for the unbeliever, but it's also an enticement, it's enticement for the believer how uh, you'll be led astray, right? Mm -hmm. Because none of us want to suffer up, uh, you know, sign up for right. suffering. Um, so they will turn their ears away from the truth. Mm -hmm. These are people who knew the truth. They'll turn away from the truth and turn aside to myths, but you, Timothy, be sober in all things, endure hardship. How many times does he have to say that? Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill <laughs> your ministry, right? right. Um, we, we all have a role to play in the body of Christ. And for Timothy, it was no different. But be sober mm -hmm. in all things. Uh, be, be sober in, in... What would you say it means to be sober? Uh, it, 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 don't be led astray by mm -hmm. this... Um, Letting your because you know, Timothy Miller. has got taught got caught up in mm -hmm. this, you know, discussion myths and led astray and mm -hmm. uh, you know and and he's got in these you know Jewish myths is the is, mysticism is the, mm -hmm. yeah and, and so uh, having his ears tickled and and then uh, another hint is here uh, down in chapter nine make every effort to come for Demas having loved this present world. See, that's how Satan desires you, mm -hmm. uh, entices you, right? Mm -hmm. Having uh, loved this present world uh, has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, um, you know, in, in the book of Philippians, it's the, it's the same thing. Paul's so concerned with the Philippians. Mm -hmm. um, the Philippians, this is the church that's, they've been with him from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, they have supported him from the beginning through his imprisonment, uh, you know, he says from the first day until mm -hmm. now, and he's concerned uh, that that the Philippians would be led astray by this theology that says if you're serving the Lord, it's supposed to go well for you, right? Right? Yeah. It, you know, you're not supposed to be imprisoned. You know, you're not supposed mm -hmm. to suffer. You're not supposed to have to endure hardship. Uh, it ought to be, you know, you know, wonderful life and daisies and unicorns. You know, it, it shouldn't be sickness and sorrow and suffering. And and so they send a, a gift to. Uh, uh, to Paul, uh, and uh, and the the messenger becomes sick, and Paul says, "I'm now I'm really concerned." concerned. Yeah. And 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 yeah. and, uh, uh, and uh, you know, and, and Epaphrodites is con concerned as well. He's the the messenger, and, mm -hmm. and so um, you know, maybe they would desert and think that you know, maybe Paul's on maybe the Paul's wrong side, right? Yeah, maybe he's wrong. Paul says, "Well, let me tell you about my imprisonment. Mm -hmm. I'm in here, change up. I'm not changed up to the." Guard, they're chained up to me, and yeah. I keep sharing the gospel with them one after another, boom, so boom, that the boom. whole Praetorian Guard uh, mm -hmm. is uh, is now convinced of the gospel, and the people outside have uh, more confidence to speak mm -hmm. the word with. And mm -hmm. at the end of the letter, he says, "And by the way, everyone in Caesar's household says hello. Yeah. You know, yeah. greet the brothers. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know." Uh, and so, so yeah. we want to change uh, change yeah. the rule, but but Paul changed. Uh, you know the Praetorian Guard in Caesar's household by sharing the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so, 
um, be sober in all things. Don't be led astray. Don't get your eye off the ball. Mm-hmm. Do your job. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Paul says, I fulfilled mine. Mm-hmm. I, I have already, uh, I'm being poured out as a drink offering. The mm-hmm. time of my departure, my death has come. I have fought the good fight. I have kept uh, the faith. I have finished the race. Uh, mm-hmm. Paul tells Timothy back in uh, in First Timothy, fight the good fight, mm-hmm. right? right. Uh, and Paul says, I've done it. I've done it. In the future, there is laid up for me, and this is so important, in the future, there is mm-hmm. laid up for me the crown of righteousness. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't receive it. Uh, in Philippians, he says, you know, I count all things as rubbish that I may attain the uh, the resurrection. It's a mm-hmm. future reward. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, it, and it comes at the appearance of Christ and at his kingdom. And so this is, you know, you have to know how the uh, the cards have been dealt and the hand that you're holding right now. And you got to play mm-hmm. that hand. You don't get to get a new mm-hmm. hand. And, uh, and so in the future, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only me, but all those who love disappearing. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, from the very uh, beginning, um, from the fall, Man has had a strong desire, you know, and this is a good desire, to, to get out of the curse. Mm-hmm. We don't want sin, sickness, sorrow, suffering, death, disease, persecution. Uh, um, hung, we hunger and thirst for righteousness mm-hmm. as those the remnant did in, uh, mm-hmm. in Old Testament Israel in Isaiah. And Jesus says, blessed are you hungered, th- for you will be satisfied. Mm-hmm. But... That's a future right. satisfaction. And right. so so as Paul explains in all of his writings, the present suffering is to build endurance, to build hope, because mm-hmm. our hope is in the king, right? Right. Uh, and so, you know, Paul's um, concern for Timothy is that Timothy would desert him as the same concern he had for the, for the uh, Philippians and the mm-hmm. same uh, concern uh, that uh, he probably rightly had for Demas, having loved yeah. his present world, all has deserted, deserted him. him. Going to Thessalonica, mm-hmm. uh, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dal- uh, Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Bring Mark. Uh, uh, pick up Mark and bring him with you, for he's useful service to me. Mm-hmm. But Tychicus I have sent to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak, which I left at trials with Carpus, and the books, especially the parchments. Be on the lookout for Alexander the coppersmith. Mm-hmm. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. Future tense will repay mm-hmm. him. Be on guard for him yourself, for he is vigorously opposed uh, to our teaching. Mm-hmm. Shocker. There's always been people who are vigorously opposed. Mm-hmm. At my defense, uh, no one supported me, but all deserted me. May that not be counted against them. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me in order that through me, the proclamation might be fully accomplished and that the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the lion's mouth. The Lord will deliver me from every evil deed and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. And then he finishes his letter with greet Prisca and Aquila and the household of Onesiphorus and Erastus uh, remained in Corinth. It's interesting that he uh, mentions An- Anisipus here, mm-hmm. uh, a slave, uh, and uh, the you know, one who aligned himself and came uh, to Paul in his right. imprisonment wasn't ashamed of my chains. He says, mm-hmm. "Make every effort to come before winter." Uh, uh, he's you know these different folks are greeting them, and uh, and then verse twenty two, the Lord be with you in your spirit. Grace be be with you. Um, this is such a, um, a sobering letter. Um, it's easy to think, well, we, we wouldn't be led astray, you know. Um, <laughs> well, we are led astray yes. by the same things. We're disheartened. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, and this is very early in, uh, you know, in the history of the, the church. And, you know, and Timothy is a pastor there in Ephesus getting eaten alive and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, Falters, you know. Today, I don't know what the statistics are, but it's 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 overwhelming the number of people who are they want to go into ministry. Uh, they're trained to be in ministry, and then they go into ministry and they leave it because it's just um, they get eaten alive by the church. Yeah. They get in, get eaten alive by, uh, and I think part of it is um, it, is is I think at least in part it is a. False understanding 
mm-hmm. of what they're getting into. Mm-hmm. Um, that they ha- they think that I'm going to serve the Lord and it's all going to go well and all this. No, you're going to serve the Lord and it will go well. Um, and you will suffer. And yeah. you will be persecuted. Going and, well and defining that. Yeah. And, and, and the rules of the game mm-hmm. are really important to understand. Mm-hmm. Where we are in God's story, in God's history, mm-hmm. uh, and what our hope is and how we are to respond today right where we are. Yeah. And and it's easy to be led astray by that because that's what happened has happened to Timothy. You, you, we were talking yesterday about um, leadership and, and growing in that and, and being in those pressure places of pressure yeah, and what comes out of that. And I think that is one of, the, that's a huge disservice I think we do to pastors in that not giving them time. We, we send them out very young. Mm-hmm. You know, I've seen a lot of pastors go from high school to college to seminary and they just think, hey, I've, I've got all the tools. But some have missed the opportunity to be in those pressure points, being on the anvil kind of thing. And um, there's so much to be learned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apprenticeship. That, yes. that, that was a that was valued in in generations mm-hmm. past. Where mm-hmm. uh, you know you couldn't just go be a plumber. Right. <laughs> you you were an apprentice right. Right. to a plumber, and you had to right. walk with the plumber, and and you know you, to, you had to realize that you know that gas line can kill everybody. <laughs> but <laughs> but they were good with being an apprentice. Yes. For some reason yeah. now. Our young men say, "No, I I want to be in the lead spot now." Yeah, and, so, and there were uh, you know, so that's a two way street. Also, yeah, I agree yeah. with you that that not only do we not have the people who want to be an apprentice, we don't have those who want to apprentice someone else. That's and so, right. Uh, and so, how There's two sides? You of know, that can you mm-hmm. you know, how do you grab that last generation <laughs> and bring them along? And and think about some of the stuff we do in the church where. Yeah. You know Paul's instruction here to Timothy in, in First Timothy, the, you know, older men, younger, younger men. men. How, uh, mm-hmm. But but now we separate them, and uh, you know, and we we have all right. of these methods for how to do it. You know, mm-hmm. and all these new mm-hmm. pragmatic approaches, and mm-hmm. we're gonna, you know, so we're gonna put the young, the young know nothings with the young know nothings, and magically they're going to know something, <laughs> no. uh, and the old. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah. uh, unfortunately, don't it, have to well, put up unfortunately with what, what's happened yeah. is because we put the young nothings with the young nothings, they never learn anything, and then they become the old no nothings. Yeah, uh, and here we are. And here we are. Here we are. And, and so, yeah. uh, at some point, we've been talking about this. At some point, um, you know, we we have to realize we we've been trying this our own way, and it's mm-hmm. not working. Right, it's not working. And so, at some point, we're going to have to say, okay, let's quit. I, I hear this all too often. Uh, this this pitting ministry against the Bible, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you're just a Bible guy, and you know we're, we're doing ministry. And all of their ministry, none of it reflects the scriptures. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, well, how's that quote ministry going? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we keep failing. The, the church keeps failing. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, I was listening to a discussion yesterday about discipleship in the 21st century. I, I didn't realize that all the rules had changed. <laughs> and now, you know, yeah. it seems to me that discipleship is taking people back to the words of the apostles and prophets, the one for, once mm-hmm. for all faith delivered to the saints. This is where your hope is. This is where your hope mm-hmm. is, Timothy. There's mm-hmm. no hope anywhere else. Right. They're going to try to entice you. Mm-hmm. They're going to lead you astray. They're going to mm-hmm. tell you. Here it is. Here's the here's the magic little thing that will solve all your problems. Look over here. Look over here. And and the church is going to go after it. And and and, and we and there's example after example throughout church history and uh, two thousand years of the church being mm-hmm. led astray right from the beginning with the Corinthians right here with Timothy. I mean, this is right. You know, this is the same new. things. It's, 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 not, it's not anything new. Right. Uh, Satan's still doing the same the same mm-hmm. things. Um, but if we don't learn from experience, if we don't learn from church history, if we don't learn from the scriptures, then we are doomed to make the same mistakes. And uh, and so, Absolutely. you know, and so the, the the whole mentorship, the elders teaching the youngers and being faithful to the word, there's no other answer mm-hmm. out there. And, and right. this is what Paul's instructing Timothy to re-engage, mm-hmm. recommit. And, um, and I'd like to think, I mean, there's no... Um, uh, I, I don't think that we have any evidence to suggest either for or against Timothy's response. Mm-hmm. I'd like to think Timothy responded uh, mm-hmm. responded well, um, right. and uh, you know, and, and reengaged. Um, probably the reason I'd like to think that 
uh, is because we're all tempted to quit. <laughs> and we're looking for some, you know. We're looking for an out. Yeah. Uh, even someone, if we don't it. give me someone who some, stood in there and yeah. and finished the fight like yeah. uh, like Paul did. You know, yeah. uh, you know, Paul's an apostle, and, you know, if, if the Lord appears to you and, you know, on the, you know, it's easy for us to say, well, you know, it's easy for him. I mean, you know, he had this vision. You know. But yeah. um, but did Timothy yeah. hang in there? Well, Luke did. Luke hung in there. Mm-hmm. Mark, who even, you know, Paul marginalized. Right. He, he hung Took in there. Took issue with him, yeah. Um, yeah. A, uh, a former slave hung in there with him. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we don't have to find our hope in Timothy. Right. Um, but it'd be nice if he... If he did, it'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I would like that. I bet he did. He, but but you know, uh, even if he if he didn't, um, and you know, this is what's encouraging uh, to uh, to me uh, is that um, the Lord knows those who are His, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, uh, you know, nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands, having this seal. Mm-hmm. The Lord knows those who are His. Mm-hmm. Um, we will fail. You will fail. Uh, we're all a Timothy in that way. We all mm-hmm. fail. The Lord knows who are his. And, and here's the other encouragement I just want to leave people with. Uh, and this is back from chapter two. You know, this is in a large house. There are not only uh, vessels of gold and silver, mm-hmm. but also of wood and earthenware, some vessels of honor and some of dishonor. And, and Timothy had been both a mm-hmm. vessel of honor, mm-hmm. and then he had kind of become a vessel of dishonor as he got engaged in right. in the mess that was going on at Ephesus. Uh, but verse 21, if any man or if any person cleanses himself from these things, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Right? Mm-hmm. And so um, the, there's a exhortation to Timothy to re-engage, jump back in there, yeah. right? Get get up, dust yourself off. You blew mm-hmm. it, you know, skinned your knee, you fell mm-hmm. off the bike. What you gonna do? You gonna quit? You gonna get up, pedal again and and so the exhortation is get up and pedal again, and I, I, I want to believe he did. Yeah, so, <laughs> so don't tell me that he didn't. Yeah, I'm don't not ruin listening. it. Yeah, don't, don't ruin, ruin it. it. Don't ruin it, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll find out one yeah, day. But, yeah. but certainly there's great encouragement in this yeah. letter um, for a, a pastor who's, you know, has uh, needs some re-encouragement and re-engaging, mm-hmm. and we got pastors out there. I mean, if you've been in the pastorate for like three seconds— you need to hear this. You do. But it, but if you've been in life for very long, you need to hear this as well. That's to re-engage, right. fight the fight, run the race, mm-hmm. finish the course. That's right. Um, the king's coming. That's right. So church, stay in the fight. Yep. Here we go. Well, David, thank you for today. And I'm looking forward to the next letter that we jump into. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you everyone for being with us. And check out our website, Check out those tools, those resources. But as always, we want to encourage people to be the church. Come together, be the church, uh, engage in those relationships. So thank you, David. Absolutely. Thanks for listening to Teach Me the Bible podcast. Our desire is to use the power of God's word to change lives. For more information, download our app. Join us next week for another episode of Teach Me the Bible.